Hi everyone and thank you for joining Winnie Good Fitness with our online exercise sessions. Obviously we are keen that people take part in exercise to improve their own physical well-being as much as possible but exercise isn't always safe for everyone to do. So take a look at the list by the side of me and you need to be able to answer no to all of these questions. Uh, this is the same questions you'd be asked if you were attending any physical class. Uh, it's what we call a, a fitness readiness questionnaire. So if you answer yes to any of these questions, then you do need to check with your GP or your consultant before taking part in exercise to ensure that it is safe and suitable for you to do so. Thank you very much. Hi everyone, I'm Chris Saunders of Wheelie Good Fitness and welcome to our first sort of gentle flexibility exercise programme. So all we're going to do is focus on some stretching, both upper and lower body. You may not be able to do all of the uh, different exercises depending on your own personal ability, uh, but do what you can and adapt as you feel suitable or necessary. So all we're going to do is just start by just loosening up our shoulders. We want to shake it out into the wrists, into the arms, and use your upper body as well to just loosen up, get that little bit of rotation. It's nice and gentle. We're not trying to do anything too energetic. We're just trying to warm and loosen up our joints. Give it a little bit of a shake. Shake it out the fingers. And then we want to focus, first of all, on our posture. We want to take a deep breath in. As we breathe in, breathe in through the nose. Lift the body up nice and tall, as tall as you can go and then breathe out through the mouth. As you breathe out, your body relaxes, but you want to keep that tall posture. So again, take another breath in, lifting up nice and tall, and breathing out through the mouth. And then one more on each breath, we should be getting taller and taller. And again, as you breathe out, keep tall, but allow that breath to come out of the body. Okay, so try and keep that posture throughout. Pull the tummy in nice and tight because that way your core is engaged and hopefully you'll feel that little bit of lift through the body as you're holding it there. So first of all, we want to take the right arm forwards. Reach as far forward as you can. You want to feel the stretch down the arm as you extend the arm and also into the back of your shoulder. And then we want to take the arm across to the left and then using your right arm where you can, gently ease the arm across. You're trying to get a stretch into the top of the back of the arm and into the shoulder. If you can only use the one arm, reach out as if you're trying to stretch that arm as far as you can. But make sure this is where you're feeling that stretch coming from. You don't want to feel as though you're just stretching out your fingers. You want to get it into the back of that shoulder. Again, also you want to keep the shoulder down. As soon as the shoulder comes up, you lose that stretch. So you want to push down a little bit with the shoulder to keep it comfortable and then chain side. Same again, just extend the arm forwards first, reach out nice and long, then take the arm across, and again, where possible, use the other arm to gently ease. Where you're easing here, you're just assisting that uh, movement. You're not trying to pull forward of the elbow joint, to put strain on the elbow joint, so keep it above the elbow. Again, keep the shoulder down nice and relaxed, and then bring that arm forwards. Just loosen them up. And then we're going to do a different stretch down with both arms. So bring both arms forward. So again, reach forwards nice and long, lift up nice and tall. Take the arms out to the sides. You want the palms facing forwards and you're taking your arms back as far as you can comfortably go, reaching out nice and wide as well. So that stretch comes all the way up the arm, cross into the front of the shoulder and where the chest joins. And again, nice and tall, feel as though you're reaching out. If it helps, imagine as somebody holding your hands, pulling you out from side to side, stretching and stretching. Holding there for a few more seconds, and then relax, bring the arms down. So again, just shake it out, loosen up. Now we're gonna to stretch the top of the back of the arm up into our tricep. So bring your right arm forwards and reach up to the ceiling. Again, feel as though you're stretching first, everywhere from your hips all the way up through your body, up to the fingertips is stretching. Imagine you're hanging onto a pole or a rope from the ceiling and you feel that stretch all the way down your body. Bend at the elbow, reach down towards your right shoulder blade with your hand, and then you may feel a stretch already in your tricep here. If you don't, use your leather hand where you can to gently support and ease the arm back at the top or at the bottom. You may already be flexible enough to bring the hand behind and hold the two, whichever is more suitable for yourself. And you want to keep that stretch comfortable, but the stretch should feel as though it's a little bit like a cramping, sort of burning sensation. It's a way to describe it. And you want to make sure you feel that stretch. If it eases, try and take it back a little bit further. Again, keep yourself nice and tall. 
and then we're going to chain side. Same again, bring the arm forward, reach up so you stretch the whole of the body, because that way you're keeping good posture. Palm down towards the left hand, and again, supporting and easing back at the top, the bottom, or again, if you can, reach behind. Either way, keep nice and tall, nice and upright. You can also use your fingers to walk down the back to pull that arm back a little bit further if that helps. Again, make sure you're nice and tall, tummy tight. And again, bring that arm down, loosen up, shake it all out. We're gonna go back to that uh, second stretch. We wanna bring our arms forwards, reaching out. But this time as we take the arms out, we wanna turn the palms away. So by rotating the palms, we move the stretch a little bit in towards the upper part of the arm. Same again, imagine you're being pulled out as wide as you can go, easing the arms back as far as you can go, keeping that stretch throughout. Holding it there for a few seconds. And then relax, and again, just loosen up, shake it all out, make sure you're still nice and comfortable. Let's check that posture, take a breath in. Lifting up nice and tall. And again, breathe out through the mouth, but keep that body nice and tall. And next, we want to stretch down the side of the body. So we want to take our right arm, reach up to the ceiling like we did before, so it's nice and long. And then we want to flex through the middle of the body. So you're leaning over, but you want to keep the weight on uh, the seat that you're sat on, or if you're stood up, keep that weight evenly distributed. So you're flexing through this part of the body rather than just leaning across onto the left side of your bottom. So flex over, reach up, so the stretch comes all the way down the arm, down the side into your lats and down into uh, your obliques. Hold it there. And bring the arm over again, keep it nice and long. Reach up again with the left arm, nice and tall, stretch first. And then again, flex over so you feel the stretch down through the side of the body, keeping that weight balanced evenly on your seat or on your feet. Bring the arm over and down. Now place your right hand on your hip. We're going to do a similar movement, but down towards the floor. So again, the taller you can be, the better that range of movement will be. And we want to keep the shoulder comfortable as well. What we don't want to do is just drop our shoulder and tip the body. So keep nice and tall, flex through the middle. And again, you're reaching over, down towards the floor, as far as you can comfortably go. And back to upright. Change sides, place the hand on the hip because it puts a little bit of extra weight on the opposite side of the body to balance. Same again, nice and tall, flexing over, down towards the floor. And back to upright. Again, make sure you're nice and tall. Take a breath in. And as you breathe out, just allow that body to relax a little bit. Now bring the arms down to the side. We're going to stretch just into the top of the uh, base of the neck, the top of the shoulder. So make sure you're nice and tall. Gently tip the head over to the right and then push down with this left opposite shoulder. Feel that stretch coming down the top of the shoulder. You may even feel it in the upper arm if you're tight in that area. Remember to stay nice and upright as well, or as upright as you can be. And then relax, bring the head back. Change it over to the left, same again, tipping the head over to the left, pushing down with the right shoulder, getting that stretch into the base of the neck, top of the shoulder, and back to upright. We're going to do that one again, take the head over to the right, push down with that left shoulder, getting that stretch into the neck, and then bring the head up, take it over to the left, same again, push down with the right arm and shoulder, and back to upright. Just roll the shoulders and loosen them up. And then we're going to stretch across the chest again, but this time we want to bring our arms up at shoulder height. You can bring the hands just together, or if you want to overlap, you can to start with. But I'm going to just start with the fingers together. And then you're taking the arms out. Keep your elbows locked. Pull back through the shoulder blades, pulling the elbows back. And you should feel the stretch coming up the arm and across into that chest and shoulder area. The more you can pull back from the elbows, the bigger and better that stretch can be. And then bring the arms forwards, cross as if you're giving yourself a hug, but as you cross those arms out, you'll feel the stretch coming across the back of your shoulder blades. And then again, pull the arms back, squeeze as tightly as you can, pulling through the elbows and the rear of the arms. And then again, one more crossing over, squeeze as tightly as you can. And then relax, bring the arms down, loosening up. And then we're going to move a little bit now down towards the middle of our body. 
So for this one we're going to rotate first of all to loosen up and to do this we're going to place the left arm across the chest and then again through this middle part we're going to rotate. So nice and tall, rotate around to the right, taking your head and your shoulders, try and keep the head and shoulders fixed in place. You want to avoid just turning the head, you want to keep that movement here through the middle of the body and if it helps imagine this is a cloth so that you're wringing it out and that's what you want to be doing through the middle of the body, taking it up and around. Remember the taller you are the better that stretch will be. And then slowly come back to the front, changing sides. So the right arm across the body, nice and tall. Rotate through the middle. And again, take your head and your shoulders around as far as you can comfortably go. If you can't go far enough, lift up. Take it just a little bit further. And keep breathing in and out nice and naturally. Try not to hold your breath with these stretches. And then come back to the front. Place your hands just back from the knees. We're going to just lower ourselves down, use the hands to stabilise. And as you come down, try and lengthen your back as much as you can. Hold it there for a few seconds. And then push up through the arms, lifting your body weight up. Same again, relax the arms, come down a little bit further if you can. And again, push up through the arms, squeeze up through the chest, nice and tall. Now you may, if you're seated, need to move a little bit further forward. And for this one, we're trying to loosen up the pelvic area, stretch the lower part of the back. So you're gonna pull the tummy in tight, make sure you are nice and tall. If you've relaxed down, you'll lose that sort of control and benefit of the stretch. So take a breath in. And then as you breathe out, imagine there's somebody behind you with a belt around your waist. And so the tummy gets pushed down into the seat and you keep this upper body nice and tall. I'm just gonna turn around to the side so you can see this a little bit better. So you're lifting up. Pull the tummy in, push the hips, the pelvis down, upper body nice and tall. And you should be feeling it down in this lower area of your back. Breathe in to come up nice and tall. Down again, pull the tummy in tight. Push that pelvis and the hips down towards the seat. Uh, back to upright, two more. Again, breathing out, pulling the tummy in tight, coming down. And up, and then one to go, coming down again, and back to upright. Next one again is a stretch for the lower area of the back. I'm going to turn to make this easier to see. And we want to make sure that we're nice and tall first of all. Imagine you're diving into a swimming pool, so lengthen both arms forwards. If you need to bring the arms sort of separate, you can, or bring the hands together, whichever is more suitable. And what I will say with this one is if you find it uncomfortable on your back or too much hard work, bend the arms at the elbows to reduce the amount of weight that you have in front of you, and you'll find it a little bit easier. So first of all, breathe in. As you breathe out, engage the tummy nice and tight. Reach out with the arms and then keeping the back as straight as you can. Reach out as far as you're able to go. Hold it there just for a few seconds. And then we want to relax the lower part of our back, put a gentle curve into the back. And then reach out, really in those arms up towards the head or shoulders if they've dropped on that movement. Hold it for a few more seconds. And then relax the arms down, breathe in to come back to upright. And again, just loosen yourselves up, make sure you're nice and comfortable. Moving down to a couple of leg strokes. I'm going to stay in this position so that you can see, so we're not out of shot. And what you want to do first of all is extend your right leg forward. Keep it as straight as you can go, keep the knee area relaxed. And again, you want to be up nice and tall, tummy pulled in tight. Place your hands on the opposite leg. And then flex forward again, keeping this back as straight as you can go. So you feel the stretch coming all the way up your leg. You may feel it in the lower and upper leg if you're tight in those areas. Otherwise you may just feel it in the upper part of your leg and the lower part of the back. All depends how flexible you are. So again, coming down, if that stretch eases, try and take it a little bit further and keep it comfortable holding it there for a few seconds. And then come back to upright, push your foot down towards the floor, stretch the toes out as long as you can. So you feel that stretch right over the top of the foot and you may feel it up into the shin area as well. And then bring that leg in. Same again with the other side, extend the opposite leg out, straight as you can go, keep that knee relaxed. Again, hands on the opposite leg, lift up nice and tall, keeping the back straight, flex forwards from the hips. 
as far as you can comfortably go, holding it there. And again, if it eases, go that little bit further forward. And then come back to upright, push the foot down again, stretch the toes out in the shoe as much as you can. And then bring that leg in. We're gonna do this again, but we're gonna develop the stretch. So this time, take the leg out. Again, heel down as much as possible, toes pointing up, hands on the opposite leg. As we did before, lift up nice and tall. Flex forwards again to get that stretch, keeping the back as straight as you can. Hold for a few more seconds. And then without allowing that stretch to go, take a breath in. So as you breathe in, lift up nice and tall. And as you breathe out, allow yourself to go that little bit further if you can. And then reach down with the same side hand. Pull the foot back if you can reach it. If not, imagine a rope that's around your toes, pulling your foot back. Squeeze the toes up if you need to, to get that stretch down into your calf area. Same again, come back to upright. Push the foot down again. And then as you bring it up, just give it a little bit of a wiggle into the ankle. Change direction. And then bring that leg in, change back to the other leg, same again. Extend the leg out as straight as you can go. Knee relaxed, hands on the opposite leg. Lift up nice and tall. And again, keeping the back as straight as you can. Flex forward. Hold it where you can. And if it eases, go that little bit further forward. And then again, as we did with the other leg, take a breath in. And as you breathe out, flex further forwards, reach down with the same side hand, pull the foot back if you can reach it. As you can see, I'm not as flexible on this side. So squeeze the toes up if you need it to get that stretch into your calf. And then relax, come back to upright, push the foot down again, stretching the toes. And then bring that foot up and again, just loosen up the ankle. And then change direction around the other way. And then bring that leg in. We're just going to move up to our hip area. Now turn around as well so that you can see. And again, it's important you remain nice and tall. So take your breath in, check you're still as tall as you can be. Do this little bit of breathing whenever you're concerned about your posture. If you think you might have relaxed too much while you're sat watching TV or after eating, just take your breath in, check your posture you're nice and tall. And then as you breathe out, hold that posture. Move to the right leg, use your hands if you need to, like I do, to lift the leg up just a little bit, and then rotate it around from the hip joint. Now, if you're able to control your leg, then use the muscles all the way around to get that movement, and then just assist if you have to with the hands, whereas for me, I need to lift the actual weight of my leg up. Change direction, so round the other way. Again, lifting as big a movement as you can. It doesn't matter how big or small, it's all down to whatever movement is comfortable for you. And then bring that leg down, change to the other side. Same again, bring the leg up a little bit, bring it in, take it up and around in a circle. Try and keep the knee and the rest of the leg relaxed so that you're isolated and focusing around this hip area. And then again, we wanna change direction up and around. And then bring that leg down. Make sure you're nice and tall again. We're going to go back to that rotation. So place your left arm across the chest. Rotate through the middle as you go round. Lift up nice and tall, keeping your head and your shoulders facing forwards. And we again, we're going to develop this stretch as well. So hold that stretch for a few seconds. If it eases, take it a little bit further. And then we want to take a breath in. As we breathe in, lift up. And as you breathe out, try and take it round that little bit further. Make sure you pull the tummy area in tight, because what you'll naturally try and do to go further is to push the tum tummy area out. So pull it in tight as you go round. Slowly back to the front, changing arms to the right arm across the body. Same again, rotate through the middle. Coming around to the left, head and shoulders facing the same direction. And again, if you need to go that little bit further, take your breath in. And as you breathe out, take that stretch around further to increase and develop it. Don't forget to pull this area in. And then come back to the front. Bring your arms forwards again at shoulder height. Take them out to the sides as we did at the beginning. Palms facing forwards, easing the arms back. Reaching out nice and wide. And again, make sure you stay nice and tall. You should again feel the stretch across the top of the chest and the shoulder. And we're also going to develop this one by breathing in. So take the breath in, 
lifting up and expanding the chest and as you breathe out ease those arms further back reach out even wider to get a really good stretch hold it there for a few seconds and then rotate the palms away bring the arms down bring the hands together behind your back or hold onto your wheels or the seat that you're sat on to pull the shoulders back stretching right across the chest down the arms as well and then relax just loosen up a little bit and then we want to stretch into our wrists and our hands so take the right arm forward now there's two different versions of this the version i prefer personally is you put the palm upwards but you can also turn it down and pull underneath so this is the version i'm going to do if you prefer to do it down that's completely your choice so extend the arm forward using the other hand gently pull the palm back so you're trying to get a stretch into the base of the wrist through the palms. So I'm just going to turn to the side slightly so you can see that movement a little bit clearer. And then we want to take the hand away, curl in the thumb, curl the hand into a fist, lower the fist down, and then very, very gently ease that fist under. You want to get a tiny stretch into the top of the forearm here. It's not a nice stretch, so keep it comfortable. The more you grip here in the fist, the worse that stretch will be. So bear that in mind. And then change over to the left arm, same again. Extend the arm forwards or down, whichever you're doing yourself. Use the other hand to gently pull the arm, hand back. Hold it there for a few seconds. And then again, take the hand away, curl in the thumb, curl the hand into a fist, lower it down. Very gently pull the hand in. And then relax. Bring the arms down, just loosen up. Loosen up the upper body, loosen up your legs as well. And we're just going to finish off this little session with some relaxation. We're just going to focus on our body moving the way through our body as we breathe. The idea with this is we want to contract certain muscles as tightly as we can, and then we gently relax them to ease. So first of all, close your eyes. And as you've closed your eyes, just try and focus on your breathing, taking a deep breath in. As you breathe in, lift up nice and tall. And relax as you breathe out. Take a second deeper breath, lifting up taller and taller. And relax as you breathe out. As you take this next deep breath, squeeze your toes as tightly as you can. Squeezing them tighter and tighter as you're breathing in. Allow them to relax as you breathe out. As you take this next deep breath, push the heels down into the floor, pushing them down harder and harder as you're breathing in. And relax as you breathe out. As you take this next deep breath, squeeze your thighs together, squeezing them tighter and tighter as you're breathing in. Relax as you breathe out. As you take this next deep breath, squeeze the tummy in tight. Squeeze the buttocks as well, tighter and tighter as you breathe in. And relax as you breathe out. As you take this next deep breath, squeeze your upper arms into your sides. Squeeze them in tighter and tighter as you breathe in. Relax as you breathe out. As you take this next deep breath, squeeze your hands into fists, squeezing the thumbs as well as the fingers tighter and tighter as you're breathing in. And relax as you breathe out. Put your arms down to your sides and as you take this next deep breath, squeeze the shoulders up to the ears, squeezing them higher and tighter as you're breathing in. Relax as you breathe out. Give your toes a little wiggle, loosening up your ankles and your knees. Give your fingers and thumbs a wiggle. Take it up into your wrists, rotating the wrists. Bring it up into your elbows. And then as you bring it up into your shoulders, slowly open your eyes. And as your gentle flex and stretch exercise completed. 
Thank you for joining me. We hope to see you again. Keep an eye on our Facebook and our YouTube links and we'll bring more exercises to you that you can do at home. In the meantime, take care and see you soon. Bye.